eyes, stuffing them shits in the safe. Got me a spot out the way. Nigga just trying to be safe. Let's get to a sports talk. Let's down with LeBron on camera, and he said he is hoping to hang out in the NBA until his son could also play with him, depending on when the one and done rule comes out. That could be three or four years from now. But since Bronny has actually started playing at the high school level, being more in the spotlight, LeBron has made an effort to take that pressure down a few notches. And now, if you ask him, he just says he just wants Bronny to be a happy and responsible kid who loves basketball, which you get as a parent. You get why he's trying to do that. Still, it's not stopping the rest of us from wondering what might be. There is this ever-growing, guys, collection of father-son duos in the NBA. I mean, you can go back way further, but let's just start with Kobe Bryant and his dad, Joe Jellybean Bryant. Played eight years with the Sixers, Clippers, and Rockers. Rockets, Kobe, did, did he play in the league? Oh, Oh, yes, right. 18-time All-Star, five-time <laughs> champ, two-time Finals MVP. Jimmy Walker was the number one pick, two-time All-Star. You might know his son, Jalen Rose, a member of Michigan's legendary Fab Five, scored more than 13,000 points, and, of course, our good friend and co-worker here at ESPN. There was Del, Del Curry finishing in the top ten in three-point percentage seven times. He's got two sons in the league, Seth and Steph. Steph, of course, finishing top 10 in three-point percentages eight times. He's also won a couple rings there mm -hmm. and two MVPs, plus many, many more. Clay and Michael, the Berries, Bill and Luke Walton, the Bookers, the Hardaways. I could go on and on. Today, you are part of an athletic family. You and your sister both play in the W. So are expectations different when you know you've got that lineage to uphold and the pressure and everyone's comparing you? You know, I don't have kids yet, hopefully in the future, not so distant future, but it's funny with my younger sisters who also play at Rice University, I feel like a parent out there. Like, I'm stressed, I'm bugging, I'm jumping out of my seat. It's just so much more stressful, and Neck and I always joke, Neck and my teammate and sister, um, that it's so much easier playing with each other because we can control the outcome, but you do deal with pressures, you know, as family. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you guys are rolling this B-roll! <laughs> <laughs> my sister and I. But, you know, there's two different types of pressure. Our parents did not play sports, right? Um, when you have a, a father like LeBron, and LeBron is a, a great example, there's so much pressure for LeBron because he was that guy, the chosen one at 14, right? right. Um, where everyone was saying he's not only going to transform the life of his family, his community, this. They, they, they ain't going to put pressure on him because who he is. Because he's LeBron Jr. So... Of course, it's gonna be pressure on him because they gonna make it pressure on him because who his daddy is. His daddy is one of the top players in the league, so they, of course they gonna put a spotlight on him and make him have pressure on him. Like he ain't gonna have no pressure on him. He'll be a different player from his daddy. Like they gonna do the same thing they did their daddy. They they gonna say they gonna say the same thing they said. They they say he folds to make it to the league. Uh, they, they, he put the pressure on his daddy. Like his daddy just try to take the pressure off of him, but not going to some of his some of his games or something like that. He just trying to let his son enjoy it because he know like what happened as soon as he got as soon as his daddy went to his game, they already interviewed him. Like as soon as he walk in the stand, as soon as he walk in the, in the building, he already get interviewed before his son even tipped off. He already interviewing about his son, about him watching his son. So, if they, of course, they'll put pressure on him because of who he is. Stay dubbing him possibly, like, the next greatest player of all time. That is a lot of pressure. Now, for the next generation, for the Brawnies or the Bryce or even the Zuries, right, it's a different pressure. It's social media. It's technology. Mm -hmm. Bronny grew up in the time where there's overtime. There's yep. House of Highlights. There's always a camera scrutinizing every move of his. Not so much the case with LeBron. I know that we saw him at age 14 yeah, in a different but... way. But these guys also have their own forms of pressure. But what I really love is how they coexist, right? Like, one of my favorite moments before D-Wade retired was when Zaire sort of ran up on him after yeah. he hit a shot. And it's like, wow, like, they're embracing their parents' current state, um, even though D-Wade is retiring now. Like, now he is at the games holding it down for LeBron James while LeBron is dominating the league. Like, everything comes full circle. It's tough to deal with pressure when you're in the family, but you realize your number one thing is your support system, mm -hmm. and they've been through it all. I mean, this is like being a Kennedy. Right. Right, right. I mean, and, and, we, and I say royalty. I mean, the guy's nickname is King James, right? right? And, and, and no disrespect to any of the other 
players, uh, who NBA alums who are on that list. But this is the first time I can remember the progeny of a truly generational superstar. I mean, you mentioned it. One of LeBron's first public comments was, hey, I'm just waiting around for my son to make yeah. it to the NBA. So, you know, perhaps we can play against each other or together. And I just cannot imagine the level of pressure right. that Bronny endures. And, uh, I mean, the fact that he's well-adjusted is, is, in and of itself, given what celebrity culture and all that social media and who LeBron is culturally, is, is pretty astounding. I mean, it's interesting how they have really tried to, as a family, take some of that pressure off. You hear what they're saying now. It's been really a 180-degree change. We'll see. Who knows? We just want him to be a good kid, that kind of thing. They're sending him to a school in Sierra Canyon that has a lot of celebrity kids. First of all, it has a lot of basketball. You see what they're saying? Like, they got a lot of celebrity kids that go to that school. A lot of basketball celebrity kids that go to that school. Like... They don't talk about Wade sound like that. Zaire like Wade sound like that, but they might they might do it. when he, when he do make it to the league. They gonna talk about him. They they still might talk about him. They don't say too much like that. They that they should be, but they, they they don't want to. They just focus on LeBron's son. You know, it it, it always gonna be pressure on the kids because who their fathers is. Both of their sons can make it to the league because they got the talent to get there. It just, we in this time right here when you got social media, when everyone is going to put everything on him, expectations of him being his dad, but he's, they're going to be different from their fathers. They, their game is going to be way different. You know, it's not going to be the same like their dads. Like, LeBron's son is a game different from his daddy's. Like it's not gonna be the same like him. Like 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 Kenny, like Kenny got a son in college that's playing for North Carolina. Like so long as like they put the so they put the camera on his daddy, like as soon as he playing, like everything has to be about the son. They they he know who his daddy is, but at the same time, the spotlight always gonna be on the NBA kid. Like because they're going to suspect their kids to do what their dad did. But they they can. Like, their games are going to be different from their fathers always. They're going to try to make him into his dad. That's not him. That's why he tried to make sure he don't put a lot of pressure on him. That's, that's why they call him Bronny Jr. They ain't trying to put that much pressure on him. That's why, like, when his daddy playing the game, you see Wade... Supporting his son. Now now LeBron well, when won his game when he played against his old high school. His son played against his old high school. Like the spotlight on his daddy. He put the camera on his daddy. Then put the camera on him. Like they gonna try to make pressure on him. But I feel like he's gonna learn how to handle that. And I feel like he know how. <laughs> Celebrity kids, our co-worker Scotty Pippen, who, you know, Mr. Six Rings, his son went to Sierra Canyon and graduated there from there last year. Kenya Martin's kid, I could go on and on. So that's a program that's used to that kind of stuff. It's also a school. I mean, the Kardashian kids go. I mean, it's like oh, all parents teacher conferences at this school. At this school, school yeah. right? <laughs> For all of that. And in a way, it's, it's, it's a way to make a kid who, if you are LeBron James' son, not that all of that not feel as big a deal. The other difference, I think, when people talk about the attention on this kid as, say, compared to the attention on LeBron or some of the other big high school prodigies that we've seen in the past, one of the things that feels, frankly, uncomfortable if you're some of us in the media or watching these games is you see all of this on the kid and you realize this kid has on his shoulders his entire family, his entire community, his entire school and his teachers, sometimes coming from an area where there isn't much else going on or isn't much else around and he's carrying everything everyone's hopes and dreams and financial security along with him and it's all weighing on him. LeBron James Jr. is not carrying any of that, right? And I do think it's different. I do think if you are going out there and you don't know that, hey, if I do well, my mom could get a house, right? Or my whole family's life could change versus that's not what's right. going on it's here. It's material pressure versus reputational pressure. Right? I, I right. do like, think it's a different... Yeah, it's different. He, he got to do all that. His mom and father are cool. They already got everything established for them. 
So he ain't really too much worrying about, I had to do this for my moms. He don't need to. That's why I think it's going to be a little easier for him to ease his way on to college and then the pros because he know it's not that much burden on him to do that because his daddy got that taken care of. So I feel like he going to learn how to handle it and be okay. Different kind of thing when we say, oh, God, it's so much so fast for a kid. It, it's, it is definitely is it's just different and and i think that's an important difference to remember when we're talking about all of this stuff it is interesting we've had some great great kids of kids we've got guys who are the third right making it in the league yes. generationally right now too so we will see if this continues with the james family thanks for watching espn on youtube for more sports highlights and analysis